everybody, this is Deborah Anderson and I'm coming to you on behalf of Dragon Blogger Technology and Entertainment. Today we are talking about the iBuildy Walking Book. Mine came installed with Windows 8.1. I can't say that that would always be the case, but it is the case for the discussion on this video today. Let's start with the entertainment aspect of your iRulu tablet. This includes built-in, out-of-the-box, no pun intended, Xbox Music and Xbox Video, right from the home screen of your tablet. And this is what is presented when you tap the screen where it says Video. As you can see, you have several different options, including TV shows, movies, and finding others that you want to watch. Now, we're going to go back to our home screen to catch the music. You have several different options with the Xbox Music application, including creating a collection, exploring music, listening to radio, and connecting with friends using the Xbox social network. Both Xbox Video and Xbox Music can be all that you want, including the social aspect. Okay, we've talked about a couple of apps that are installed on the iRulu out of the box, but now we're going to head over to the Microsoft Store now we're going to install additional apps, and since we're on the topic of entertainment, let's go look at some other ways to watch on-demand material. First, we have Netflix. You could almost think of Netflix as the original on-demand source. The reason I'm calling it on-demand is because it's not just movies and it isn't just TV. It's a bit of everything and anything. Another one that is available, and I'm sure others like it for other networks, is CBS All Access. If you are in love with CSI and NCIS and other CBS series, then you may want to take a look at the CBS All Access. The episodes for TV become available on CBS All Access pretty close to around the time that they air. There's also some oldies from decades past that are available. There are two things that you need to keep in mind specifically with CBS All Access. First, All Access does not mean that you have all episodes of a TV series. For example, I only had a few of the NCIS and had to wait for it to come out on Netflix so that I could get the whole entire series. Well, that is all of them except for the last season, which is pretty normal for Netflix. The other thing is that the app is free, but the service is not free. Sometimes you will see references to CBS being free, but that's a reference to their other products like news and so forth. I was a little saddened that Voodoo was not available in an app form. I did search for it on the Microsoft Store. You need to actually log in via Internet Explorer or another browser on your iRulu to view Voodoo. However, you can at least access it in that way and download the video and then watch it in your Xbox video on your iRulu. Finally, Hulu Plus is available in an app and, like Netflix, works quite well and quite conveniently on the iRulu walk-in book. There are also options to send the movie to another computer monitor. That goes a little bit beyond what we're discussing here, but watch for future videos because I'm sure that we will cover that and how to set that up. Now that we've looked at entertainment, let's look at the home screen and how you can get to your programs. For those of you accustomed to Windows, this is an easy way to navigate and find what you are looking for on your Windows tablet. For those of you that are not accustomed to the touch screen, it may take a little while to get used to it. Let's take a quick peek at what is available in your personal settings. We have PC and devices, your hardware go to spot, accounts, user accounts for people who have access to log in, and also setting them up, OneDrive for cloud storage access, search and apps, your program settings, Privacy, your security settings. Network, for connecting to Wi-Fi. Time and language, pretty self-explanatory. Ease of access, for hearing impaired, visual impairment. Update and recovery, for system maintenance. For those of you who like to use the right click on your Windows to set things like desktop preferences, you can still do that. Simply go to the desktop as you would on a regular PC, click and right click. For your touch screen, what that involves is holding your finger down on the screen until it pops up for the right click. A menu pops out and you can click on graphics properties or graphics options to look at the settings for your desktop. In other words, display. From here you can change the color scheme or theme for your desktop. You can use the themes that are presented. You can also use the picture desktops called wallpaper. As you can see, we have chosen one of the blue based themes for this example. 
Now, let's take a look at how the hardware handles speed. This is right out of the box, basically. In fact, I did this before I even installed any other apps. And it's hooked up to a 2.4 gig network. It would not connect to the 5 gig network that was available, even when it was right on top of the router. It did not find it. This was actually the second Irulu Walken book that we tested with the same result. Neither one would connect to the 5 gig network. Other laptops of all types, ages, brands, were tested and connected fine to the higher speed network. It appears to be something with this model. For our site's speed test, we're using the site called speedtest.net to see the results. Two types of user accounts on your Windows 8.1. There's the email version hooked up to Microsoft.com, and there's the local account. I'm old school and I like to have the one that's not connected. In other words, the local one. However, there's really no point in the long run because you need to be hooked up in order to get access to apps and other functionality. It makes sense to follow Microsoft's advice and get the connected email-based account. It is pretty basic Microsoft user account setup. And another advantage, by the way, with your Microsoft user account is that you can log in on any computer and look at your account settings. You can also access apps that have been previously installed. So if you get another device, you can refer to your account to reinstall the same apps, except for those apps that may no longer be accessible in the Microsoft Store, which I will discuss later. For my iRulu, I started by installing some basics. For anyone in love with social media, that includes Pinterest and Twitter. Then I moved on to YouTube. This was a frustrating situation that I'm going to turn into a learning experience by sharing what happened to me. This should help when it comes to a roadblock that you may, or hopefully not, hit in your future. It is also a lesson that says when you find an app that you really love, install it before it goes away on Microsoft Store. When I received my replacement iRulu, and that's another story for another time, I went to install all my apps. My beloved MyTube app was nowhere to be found. I was just at a point of the final post-production tasks on this video that you're watching here, and I wasn't able to install it. The app is no longer available in the Microsoft Store. I was able to download it, and there is an option to install it locally, but the 8.1 version of Microsoft that I have on this iRulu does not allow for local installs. Some versions of 8.1 do or at least that's what it says in different articles on the internet. So you are watching my beloved, unavailable MyTube app while I am telling you all of this. And by the way, there's another MyTube app that is not the same as this one. The one that you want, at least if you want the same one that I'm talking about, is made by One Tap Mania. We can hope that it will return, especially since on a scale of one to 10, it is an 11. Speaking of YouTube, be sure to check out the Dragon Blogger YouTube channel. You may even be there now, but if not, visit youtube.com forward slash dragon blogger. And I wouldn't mind a visit to youtube.com forward slash social web cafe while you're at it. Until next time, this is Deborah Anderson from Social Web Cafe coming to you on behalf of Dragon Blogger Technology and Entertainment. Be sure to visit us on dragonblogger.com. See you there.